The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Is this long shot out there? Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Laurel Park Replay Show for Sunday afternoon with nine races on the card and a partly cloudy skies and a fast track. We'll show you all the races from start to finish and the official prices here in just a moment. Happy holidays from all of us here at Laurel Park. You can join us here at Laurel Park for breakfast with Santa on Saturday, December 14th. Arrive early with a family starting at 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. We'll have a family breakfast buffet, hot chocolate bar, kitty canvas painting, and Santa will be here, too. And it's $25 for adults, a child $13 uh, for uh, the uh, children's price for ages 6 uh, to 11. Children under 5 will eat free. It's breakfast with Santa here at Laurel Park. Then Christmas Tide Steaks Day following Christmas on the 28th of December. We'll have six steaks races, six steaks races on that afternoon. Christmas Tide Steaks here at Laurel Park on the 28th. More details on all the upcoming events and promotions information, and you can get our buffet menu at laurelpark.com. Track is fast. Here's the opener to kick off that early pick five. And they're off. Discreet Rush on the inside, Deirdre of Legend pushing up there. Here comes Lily's Little Gem in a hurry, and Pete's Pride is early speed as well. So it's Lily's Little Gem just in front. Deirdre of Legend is second, Keeper and Spide now in third position, and Pete's Pride right there in fourth. As Discreet Rush is back in fifth at the breaking sharp and pass now on the inside. Hoss Kitten getting underway, just two and a half from the front. Vix Cool Cat is in the second flight as well as they charge over the far turn run. Princess Katie will have to go very wide, about three or four or five wide into the far turn run and air followed by queen of cause back of the pack which she works all week so less than three furlongs to go the opening quarter 22.92 the outside deer draw of legend getting that head in front lily's little jumped out of the inside just in behind him is hoss kitten in the blue colors racing third and angling off the inside as they reach the top of the stretch the outside vix cool cat also leveling off to vix cool cat is coming half mile in 46.43 about a furlong left to go here's vix cool cat vix cool cat now to the lead Vix Cool Cat opens two lengths on Deirdre of Legend and Hoss Kitten in the inside. A 16th left to go. Vix Cool Cat. Vix Cool Cat and Forest Boys to score by almost four at the finish. Hoss Kitten was second. Deirdre of Legend, Queen of Cause, and Princess Katie. Lined up. And they're off. Victory given flying out of the gate first. And Rock and Rom are second. And Save Me Paul it out of the inside is Promising Pistol. Pushing forward mid-pack. And Golden Spun Lad. Another three back. And Electric Choke back of the pack with Boat Over the Hill. Who's back there too. Boat Over the Hill is last now some ten lengths off that pace up ahead. Victory given in a sharp pace of the group. Leads by two from Rock and Ron and Save Me Paula. Promising Pistol ridden along a bit on the inside. Another three lengths back is Golden Spun Lad. Here's Boat Over 
over the hill. In between, horses the favorite. And Electric Choke on the inside. Now, nine lengths covers them. The opening quarter, 24.15. Victory given. Victory given. Charging off of the far turn. Four and a half out with a three-length lead from Rock and Ron in second. And Promising Pistol the Gray on the inside. Save Me Paul is next. The outside is Golden Spun Lad. is about three or four wide as they have three and a half furlongs left to go. Boat over the hill still lingering back of the pack with Electric Choke saving ground. Bunching up now only six, seven lengths front to back. Half mile 48.11. Top of the stretch for the long run in. Victory given shows the way and turns in two and a half in front from Rock and Ron in second. Down to the inside. Electric Choke trying to push forward. Boat over the hill trying to get involved from the back. Boat over the hill driving hard into second. Just got to chase home. Victory given. Six furlongs a minute. 12.90. Victory given. The outside boat over the hill. Boat over the hill. Victory given. Trying to hang on to the big price. And here's boat over the hill. Boat over the hill. Just in front with the 16 to go. Promising pistols now moved to third. Electric choked out of the inside. Boat over the hill. Boat over the hill. Victory given. Stubbornly hangs to second. Promising pistol and electric choke. And are off. Sharp break there. Everybody's run wall on the outside in Blue Danube. Down to the inside. Base Siders in a lead group as well. And Shawnee P right there at the fence. And Marylander, too, in between horses. Gap of two more lengths. And it's Shelly Island, a half dozen from the front. San Marco, the two path. They're followed by Wall and codename Brody's in the back. Blue Danube in front by three quarters of a length. And the favorite there, Buddy's run in second. And Shawnee P rating kindly enough in third. Marylander is in fourth. And Base Sider is fifth. The opening quarter, 23. Point zero one heading into the far turn where it's Blue Danube just ahead in front from Buddy's right on the outside. Shawnee P's right off the speed from third position. Marylander asks for a full sprint on the air from fourth. Another two lengths back at his base. Sider, San Marcos out three wide. Shelly Island dead inside. Codename Brody and Wall is last of them all. Buddy's run has taken over the half in 45.99. Top of the stretch. Buddy's run. Shawnee P bids up second of the outside. Then it's Marylander and Blue Danube tiring from early efforts down to the inside into the stretch 316s to run and it's Buddy's run Buddy's run a half in front Shawnee P giving a brave effort on the outside coming to even terms now they're down to square it off it's Buddy's run and Shawnee P Shawnee P Buddy's run Shawnee P Buddy's run coming back for a little more Shawnee P Buddy's run Buddy's run Shawnee P Shawnee P Shawnee P the photo finish from Buddy's run then it was Maryland in third in San Marco Baysider
and they're off. I have the Wildcat in mid-pack. I love you early speed. On the inside is Sharpen, too. So it's I love you and Sharpen. Mama DOA running in third now. Then Johnny Marie's in between. Stakes on a plane is moving forward to the inside. Another two lengths back, and it's Ravenel and War Tweet widest to them all. Or to Nolan near the inside. And I have the Wildcat settles in the back, but only seven lengths from the front runner. I love you. I love you leads three quarters of a length and stakes on a plane with room at the rail. And Mama D on the outside in third and Sharpen in between or is fourth. Back to Ravenel, then back to Joni Marie and Orton Nola. The outside is War Tweet, and I have the Wildcat in the back. Opening quarter, 23.90, heading over the far turn run, where still I Love You leads the way. I Love You in front, from the favorite, Mama D. Leader by a length, a half in 47.61. So with three and a half to run, I Love You in front from Mama D, still three quarters of a length, and Ravenel on the outside. And then it stakes on a plane, driven out of the rail, War Tweet the far outside and sharpen just in behind that group now. Here followed by Ortonola and Joni Marie and I have the Wildcat trailing the field. Top of the stretch, quarter of a mile left to go and it's Mama D. Mama D pushing by I Love You to grab the lead and Stakes on a plane is tipping just outside of that pair for the last 316. Six furlongs a minute, 12.64 as Mama D comes to that final furlong, holding a two-length lead from I Love You, then Stakes on a plane. Ortonola down inside pushes a fourth, a sixteenth left to go. Mama Mama D, the favorite response for Alex Cintron. Mama D to get it done. Mama D stakes on a plane. And then I love you. And followed by Ortonola Fourth. Yeah, the gate. And they're off. My Lila on the inside in a hurry to try to grab that lead, but here is Classy But Sassy just in front. My Lila now on the inside, now up to even terms, and Carousel Marge away running in third, right off the top pair. Big Daddy's Glory in the outside, close there in fourth position. They're followed by Playland Irish Rush, has dropped back from between horses. Win then Grin on the inside, about seven to make up in the early stages. Congress Hall is followed by Tap to Bog in the gray in the two path, and Smart Entry is in the back. At about 13 lengths off the Pace up ahead, the opening quarter, 23.53. Classy but sassy's up top from My Lila by two lengths, and Carousel Marge outside racing in third position. Then it's Big Daddy's Glory. Here's Win then Grin making a bit of progress just in behind that second group of runners, and here is Win then Grin, who's got a bit of run, looking for room on the inside, and gets it. Gets it courtesy of My Lila. Here comes Win then Grin. Win then Grin moves second now. They're chasing Classy but sassy half mile, 47.66. They're at the top of the stretch where Classy But Sassy turns her home. But Win Then Grin's always been tugging along and gets through the inside of that runner as they make the turn in. Win Then Grin and Sheldon Russell with a perfect trip to get through a quarter of a mile left to go. Six furlongs a minute, 13.47. And Win Then Grin is building a three, now a four length lead. Now running on is Congress Hall, scooting up the inside of Classy But Sassy. And then Carousel Marge out in the center of the track. It's all Win Then Grin. Win Then Grin looking good throughout, looking good in the last 16th, looking good at the line, a win by nine. Win, then grin. Win, then grin. From second, Congress Hall.
Light up. And they're off. Look like Battle Ready stumble there at the start. Dedicated with a sharp break on the outside. Dedicated enough speed to try to get over there. Savvy Street now up on the inside to grab the lead. Dedicated put it a good spot early for the outside draw. And I wish I was special right there with pace two. And next is Battle Ready who's racing fourth far outside. Totally unexpected down to the rail. And King of All Media is in between horses. And Do You Want a Salsa follows that. Another two and a half. And French's Quest is followed by Social Network and 40 Acres on the outside. Back to Pre Raise the moon, and last is Ride This Train, whose last and has about 13 lengths to make up. Opening quarter mile, 24.52. Savvy Street's just in front from Dedicated as they charge around that far turn. I Wish I Was Specials in third position, and inside is Totally Unexpected in fourth. King of All Media in Between Horses in fifth. Battle Ready races about four wide, and Do You Want a Salsa in that grouping as well. As French's Quest has a bit of run, just needs a bit of racing room there. French's Quest just in behind Totally Unexpected is ridden along and tries to get through between now. Top of the stretch, they make the turn for home after a 48.07 half mile, about a quarter of a mile left to go and Savvy Street the Great kicks on, opens up now, six furlongs a minute, 12.80. Savvy Street is in front and driven. The outside now, second. I wish I was special and then it was dedicated to the inside third. French Quest is in fourth furlong left to go. Savvy Street, six to one and still going strong. Savvy Street and ties Lia Pastina. Savvy Street, Savvy Street, Savvy Savvy Street pretty much all the way. Savvy Street to do it from dedicated second. I wish I was special or French's Quest. In or off. Lion Lord Sharp beginning. Miner's Quest there with early foot two. And Birdie's on her way running in third position. And Regal Quality on the outside. Earned it in Sacred Walk. Bunch Field only three and a half lengths covers them. Birdie's on her tugging along on the outside. A narrow lead from Miner's Quest out of the rail. Birdie's on her by a neck from Miner's Quest and Regal Quality. Up close there in third position. Lion Lord broke sharp back in fourth position now. And it's another length and a half more. And it's Sacred Walk. And Earned It is the last runner. Now six lengths front to back. The opening quarter 23.65. So leading the way is Birdie's Honor into the far turn, and Birdie's Honor clears off by three from Miner's Quest and Regal Quality, Lion Lord of the Inside, and then it's back to Earned It and Sacred Walk now with a lot to do. Three eighths of a mile left to go. Birdie's Honor gliding right along at about a three or four length lead from Miner's Quest and Regal Quality on the outside. Lion Lord out of the inside. They're followed by Earned It. Half was in 46.29. They make the turn for home now. Birdie's Honor still the one to catch. Birdie's Honor now Lion Lord resurgent and coming back on the inside there is... Lion Lord, Lion Lord gets off that rail. Now coming right after Birdie's Honor and up to grab the narrow lead. Then on the far outside is Miner's Quest, a 16th of a mile left to go. Lion Lord, Lion Lord and Weston Hamilton punching Lion Lord home for the win. Birdie's Honor was second, earned it was third. Miner's Quest finished fourth.
and they're off. High roller first away, I idolize you, and she's on. All three of them out early, another three lengths back, and it's Kingston Pikes buying the speed off the trio of duelers, and it is Divine Interventio who is last of them all. Scrambling pace up front, I idolize you, cheese on down to the inside, and high roller mixing it up on the outside. Great trip there for Kingston Pike, who's fourth and three off the lead past the half mile pole, and Divine Interventio in the back. Opening quarter 22.78. So it's going to be cheese on to survive that duel along with I idolize you. Backing out of it is high roller. Here's Kingston Pike still with every chance to get by that duel. The two and a half furlongs left to go in a driven Divine Intervideo. Trailing has seven lengths to make up now. Top of the stretch. Cheese on. I idolize you. Kingston Pike is called on for running, shifting off the rail under Weston Hamilton after a 45.90 half mile. And here comes Kingston Pike. Kingston Pike and West Hamilton say thank you for the duel and Divine Intervideo beginning to close on the outside now is three lengths to close in in the last 16th of a mile. Kingston Pike, Kingston Pike, a double for Weston Hamilton. Kingston Pike coming home strong to one another. Wins it two and a half to Divine Interventio. I idolize you or cheese on. Time is a minute. And they're off. Super and Apollo Queens are better there in variance early speed. And also, oh yeah. So variance and oh yeah, gotta go together. Just in front from Broadway Trooper in third position and Queens are better is back and forth. The inside Pigeon Creek is fifth. Margie's banded between horses. They're followed by Super and Apollo who settled now some seven off the pace. Country misses on the outside. And Cash in Mike has dropped over to the rail. Half dozen from the front, second last position. And Bodachita is the trailer into the far turn run. Where it's variance and oh yeah on the outside of the duel. Margie's been in a great spot, cruising up there three wide after a 23.81 opening quarter mile. So three furlongs left to go. Oya now just prevailing. And on the outside, Margie's been in variance pressure to stay on to the inside. Broadway Trooper is fourth. Pigeon Creek is fifth in between horses coming off the inside for the final quarter of a mile. Then it's Super Anapola and Country Miss and a ground saving cash in Mike. And Queens are better the far outside into the stretch. Half mile 48.08. And it's Oya and Avery Wisman. They're Pulling away now by three, by four. Pigeon Creek on the inside, just second. And Margie's Ben flattened out a little bit. The fire outside is Broadway Trooper. Here is Oya. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, to win it about a length and three quarters. Pigeon Creek. Then it was Margie's Ben and Broadway Trooper. Queens are better.
That's it for the program on Sunday afternoon here at Laurel Park. Remember, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday racing now at Laurel Park. Friday, our next live racing day, and it'll be another Stronic 5 Friday on Friday afternoon, 1225 post time. Remember to bring the kids out for our breakfast buffet and our visit with Santa here at Laurel Park. It'll come up on the 14th of December, breakfast with Santa at Laurel Park. And on the 28th, Christmas Tide Steaks Day of the day's friend, the Willa on the Move Native Dancer, the Hef Steaks, and much more. Christmas Tide Steaks Day with five $100,000 steaks races on Saturday, December 28th. Make your buffet reservation at 301-725-0770. That's a wrap for the Sunday program. We'll see you on Friday for the next live card here at Laurel Park.